Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title, today's video is what crypto would I buy with $1,000 right now? So if you like the sound of that, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon. Nearly at 100,000 subscribers it does go a long way if you hit the bell notification icon, especially for the time sensitive content and like the video up if you're new to the channel. So why did I make this video today? What crypto would I buy with $1,000? You guys have been asking about it on Instagram, the daily Q&As, which you can find a link to in the description. Follow me on Instagram over there. You wanna know, what are you gonna do with this? So I've got some limitations, I've got some variables, I've got others, planning options, and uh, increase the earnings. So I put this together because you guys are wondering how you can use that money. And the question often comes up, and I have no idea who you are, what your background is, what uh, what risk tolerances you have, and many other variables that you can see here. So I thought I would do this as a checklist so that you can follow it and answer the question for yourselves because I'll give you a few options to use uh, uh, throughout the video. So first things first, limitations. I only have $1,000 to $2,000. So this I'm speaking from your point of view. So if I only have one or $2,000 to invest right now, what am I going to buy? So that's the limitation. You only have that much money. Maybe you got $800, maybe you got $2,200. You get the idea, all right? Somewhere around there. This is probably not for people with $10,000 and above. Uh, the next thing is, I don't have much knowledge about crypto. So that's speaking from your point of view. Uh, you don't have much knowledge about crypto, all right? This is usually the people who ask this question, 99% of the time, they don't have much knowledge about crypto and they don't have much investing experience. So they just wanna get into the market, they wanna FOMO in because they see other people making money and hear of other people making money and they want their $1,000 to turn into $100,000. I've also got a video on that chat uh, on the one to 100,000, which I'll leave a link to at the end of this video, which you can just click on and continue watching. This is the information that I'm assuming from your end because this tends to be what most people come to me with. Next thing is uh, variables. So time, I don't need the money this year. So that in that sense, this is the time aspect. You don't want this money back this year. A lot of people do, but I am going to say that you don't want it back this year, all right? You could lose all of it, of course. You screw up, you send it somewhere, and you don't have any of that money back. But in terms of time, you're not looking to just buy now and sell next week or next month. I'm gonna say that you're gonna hold it for at least 12 months or until we get to some sort of bull market looking top or out of the blue it 5x's or 10x's and you, you end up with five grand or 10 grand after you've invested this first amount of money. Next variable is uh, you can afford to lose all of the money, okay? So this means that you are not gonna be scared about this much money at night. If $1,000 means the world to you and that's your life savings, then this is not for you. You need to go and do something else. You need to go and build up some account and uh, have some backup money because you don't know when, when you're gonna be able to or you don't know if you need this money next week. So you can afford to lose all of this. You need to be able to sleep on it. That leads me to emotional well-being. This is a huge variable. I have no idea what your emotional well-being is. So of course, none of this is financial advice because I have no idea about any of your background. This is just checklists for you guys to go away and start to ask yourself questions. Your emotional well-being. You see it, for example, today, Bitcoin dropped 13 or 14%. People went crazy. This is normal drops in Bitcoin and it can continue to go further. We could see another 30%, 25 to 30% fall from here and it still be a pretty reasonable bull market bottom, you know, like a, a pullback, a correction in a bull market but a lot of people just don't have that in them, especially when this is the first time you've come into cryptocurrency or into investing. A lot of people start with cryptocurrency as their first investment vehicle and is the most volatile place you can begin. Uh, blue chip stocks are probably the least volatile. Bitcoin almost behaves like a penny stock. So penny stocks are basically extremely volatile. So your emotional well-being is something that you need to probably do the most amount of work on. Because once you've bought something and you've stored it safely, there's not much else to do until you wait for the your exit plan to hit the target that you're after and you just leave. The emotional well-being between the buy and the sell, that 
is 95% of this entire plan. So if you want to know more about exit strategies, I also have a video on the channel. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video as well. Other, keep working, making more money. So essentially this one here is don't try and trade the market with a thousand bucks. Now, I'm not saying that's a no to everyone. Overall, from what I've seen, from the comments I get on the Q&As, it's probably better for most people's emotional well-being, especially if this is their first investment, to just not try and, wow, I need to sell the top and then I'll have more so I can buy it back later at a lower price. Nine times out of 10, it just, well, 99 times out of 10, it just does not work in that way, especially for new people. So all I say is swing the odds back into your favor. Don't give the odds away to the professionals, all right? Your, your edge here, like I say in the Investor Accelerator course, is that you need to develop patience. That's gonna be your edge. Because you have smaller amounts, these are big gains that can be had, need to develop patience. All right, so if you want to know more about that, the Investor Accelerator, there is a link to that in the description down below. Limited time before the price increases at the end of this month, uh, you can get 10% off that course. All right, so moving on, don't look at your balance. That's an easy one. That's just going to uh, play with your head. All right, and the keeping, keep working and make more money to invest uh, in the next bear market. Basically, all I'm saying there is don't try and day trade this. Don't make this another job go and do something that you love because most people don't love investing and reading charts and looking at news all day long. Most people don't love that. You just want to find a nice safe space for your uh, your money to grow. Okay, so go and do something that you love, build up your savings, learn how to run your finances and then you can dollar cost average in, have a big lump sum ready to go when the market basically dumps but keep an eye on the market so you know what the emotions are like as the market increases and as it decreases, okay? All right, so we got a few more left, planning options and uh, so options before we can talk about uh, which cryptos and then how to increase the earnings along the way while it's just sitting there. Now, I did say uh, at the beginning, you know, which, what would I buy right now? And I know the video is probably a little bit longer than just saying, hey, go and buy this crypto. And I'm not specifically doing that because that doesn't know one a service because you don't know why you're doing it what you're going to do with it later, how to sell it, why to sell it, etc, etc. We've gone through this many, many times in the exit strategy video. So that's why this video, I give you a whole lot of questions because the way I see it is it's more around how to teach someone to fish than give them a fish. Giving people fish is never in my plan. It's always teaching how to fish because along the way, I learn more from teaching as well. So if I tell someone something, I don't get any feedback and I want to hear your feedback as well. And that comes from likes, comments and subscribing. So moving on, planning. How many coins? Risk tolerance. Which coins? Time to commit to learning and research. How many coins? If I got about a thousand bucks, I'll probably do two coins max, 500 bucks in each. Maybe, maybe if I had some more time to commit to learning and researching, I'd look at three, you know, 400 bucks, 300 bucks, 300 bucks, something like that. So how many two to three, maybe even one if you just want to go all in on something because this money doesn't mean anything to you if you were to lose it all. So you could just go all in on something like Bitcoin or Ethereum, let it sit there. It's a nice, easy strategy because then that gives you more time back to just research one or two coins. doesn't matter if you're not getting those gains like the NFTs that are going ballistic or the DeFi or any of that other sort of degenerative stuff. The point is that you are getting your time back and you're in control of your emotions while you are creating your own investment plan. Basically, if you haven't noticed by now, you could use this across any uh, asset class that you can afford to put $1,000 into like stocks or anything like that. So that this works well across all of those other areas because it gives you your time back. Your risk tolerance, you need a plan about your risk tolerance. So are you looking for higher risk coins, lower risk coins? Lower risk stuff is like your Bitcoin, Ethereum's. Higher risk stuff, is anything that's unproven like these two are. So uh, you could say ADA is in a lower risk, but it's still relatively unproven. Um, so really take that in consideration, which then leads you on to the, how much time can you commit to learning and researching? Because if you don't understand that, then you might freak out when ADA shoots up to 
five bucks or six dollars and then dumps back down to two dollars or 80 cents during the next bear market. I don't know, I'm just pulling figures out here because a lot of these coins will shoot up a hell of a lot and then dump by about 90 or 95% like we saw with Ethereum in 2017. And if people are saying this time is different, we're having a super cycle and the prices will never come back, this time is different is the most expensive four words in any investor's language because Although it may be different in terms of the narrative, the outcome is generally the same. We boom and we bust. All right, which coins now? So you heard me talking about a few of them. Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're the easiest ones, all right? So do the research on them as to why, but you wanna know what cryptos I would buy with $1,000 right now, and they are the two that I would knowing what I know because of the time I've committed to learning and researching, and they are the coins that I have put all of my retirement fund into. It just, I bought it in 2020, uh, averaged, and you can see that on my Instagram, I post about that on the daily, uh, the retirement fund from 26,000 Aussie dollars to currently about, probably with the dip, 220,000 Aussie dollars. So nearly getting towards that 10X mark, but that is what I'm doing and that's why I put this together. I had 26 grand in the super fund, which is called a uh, superannuation fund here, retirement fund or 401k for the US guys. And that's it. I don't have to do anything else with it. I can just continue doing what I love to do and then I use that as a bigger long-term savings account. The options, high risk, low risk. All right, so low risk is for me, I believe Bitcoin, Ethereum. And even some people will say Ethereum is higher risk because of the stuff that goes on with it and it's still not completely developed and there's a lot of problems with gas fees, et cetera, et cetera. We hear it time and time again. Overall, my low risk, list, risk strategy is Bitcoin and Ethereum, splitting it up 50-50 because I want to get those Bitcoin gains buying Ethereum. So holding Ethereum, I can get uh, some higher Bitcoin gains and holding Bitcoin, I get a fiat dollar gains. Now, something high risk could be looking at uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, maybe putting 300 and 300 in each of those or about 350 and 350 and then having about $300 left for something a little more speculative, say like Chainlink or Cardano. Now I pick those two because Chainlink's been around some time and it is a different project to uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin, you know, it's looking at the Oracle space. Cardano looks to solve or try to solve some of the problems with Ethereum. So it is a risk that it's unproven, but it could be a worthwhile risk in the long run to increase the Ethereum and the Bitcoin gains, which overall would increase the dollar gains because we see the other cryptocurrencies in a bull market. One last high risk strategy would be to keep Bitcoin and Ethereum and then go with something else that's smaller cap. Now, this is going to come back to your planning, which is why I put planning first and looking at your time to commit to learning and researching. So if you don't have much time, then going high risk is probably going to stress you out. That'll lead to a poor emotional well-being, which makes you uh, produce bad results and just bad decisions. So it's a domino effect. And so I've de designed this so that you can improve and put the swing the probabilities in your favor rather than against you. So ask yourself all of these questions. How much time are you going to commit to learning and researching before you get into your options of high risk and low risk? So if you don't have much time, low risk. If you have a lot of time and a lot of love for it and your emotional well-being is pretty in check, then maybe try a higher risk strategy. So I don't wanna be a cop out here in terms of the, you know, I said, what crypto would I buy with $1,000 now? The, the cryptos I would buy, Bitcoin, Ethereum. I've done that with the super fund. You can see that over on my Instagram, link down below. That is what I have done. I'm not going high risk on those. I tried that in 2017. It takes a lot of time, especially when I wanna go and do other things, but I do love investing. So I use those as a bigger savings account and then I can go and play with a smaller account and then funnel some of the funds back into the bigger savings account. Now, if you only have $1,000, I like the idea of a low risk Bitcoin, Ethereum. It, it exposes me to a little bit of risk there and it doesn't spread me too thin with my thousand bucks. Throwing 20 bucks, 50 bucks, $100 into different things is just not going to get me to that growth stage that I, that I really want to get to because then you've got to pay for fees and everything else that comes with it. So that is pretty much 
the entire plan there. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are around this, what you would do with $1,000 in cryptocurrency right now after going through these questions, if you happen to spend the time doing that. Lastly, I'll look at increase, uh, increase the earnings while you're holding it. But if you did find some value, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe button down below. Let's have a look at increasing our earnings through interest and staking. Now to earn some interest on that account that you're holding. So these aren't huge returns, but they're pretty decent compared to a bank, a bank account. With BlockFi, you can get up to $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. So that's in tiered forms. So if you're depositing between $25 and $249, then you would get the lower amount. But if you're depositing the higher amount, then you get up to about or up to $250 in Bitcoin from what we can see here. So that's not a bad option. And the interest rates for it are 5.5% on your link, which we've talked about, Ethereum 5.25 and Bitcoin 6%. So pretty reasonable rates just for holding your uh, Bitcoin on these platforms and uh, then basically getting your five or 6% per annum. The other option is crypto.com. So you can earn up to 8.5% on your crypto and 14% on stable coins. But we're only talking about cryptocurrencies here. And for Bitcoin, it says up to 8.5%, but with $1,000, you'd earn, be earning about 4% on your Bitcoin. So you look here in terms of three months, you'd be staking 5,000 or less. So you'd be getting 4.5% for locking it up for three months. And of course, this is long term. So you're getting uh, you're getting this right here, 4.5%. If you did flexible, then it's only 1.5. So in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum, 4.5% on crypto.com or on BlockFi, it is 6% and 5.25%. Now they have their differences, of course, there is debit cards and other interest and more coins, etc. But for our model here, uh, BlockFi seems to be the winner at 6% and 5.25%. So that's another way to earn interest on your cryptocurrency, which you're basically holding anyway. So that wraps me up for what crypto would I buy with $1,000 right now? I hope that helps you out, maybe allows you to sleep a little bit easier at night. There is so much information out there and sometimes you just need to find somewhere to just clear out the noise so that you can just come up with a nice, simple, easy plan because otherwise your whole day is just spent trying to research a whole lot of stuff which you have no idea about and don't know where to start. Sometimes simple is better and simple can often lead you to better places faster. All right, so keep that in mind. Save the video if you wanna come back to it to ask yourself these questions down the track and happy investing, all right? So yeah, get out there, do what you need to do. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments around this one. If you want to learn more, the Investor Accelerator course is down below as well. There is 10% discount on that for a limited time until the end of this month or the 120 coupon codes are used up. So go and check that out if you haven't already. Uh, Instagram, daily Q&As over there. Love to hear from you guys and like, share, subscribe. Love it all. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.